Stan Gibalisco here, author of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, the current edition being the fifth edition, published by McGraw-Hill and available in a variety of bookstores, including Amazon.com. And I will provide a link to the Amazon page for this book in the description of this video. I'd like to talk about a circuit, another circuit using an operational amplifier, very similar to the differentiator, similar but much different. It looks a lot like the, uh, like the differentiator, but its actual function is precisely the opposite. Instead of differentiating the input waveform, the integrator produces the mathematical integral of the input waveform. Now, what is the integral? Well, if you take taken calculus, you would know. Fundamentally, it is the anti-derivative, the accumulated value of a function over time produces the anti-derivative. Oftentimes, you can take the derivative of an anti-derivative and get the original function, or take the anti-derivative of a derivative and get the original function. Sometimes, but not always. Now here is the circuit, the operational amplifier, the inverting input, the non-inverting input. The input signal is applied between ground and the inverting input, just as is the case with the differentiated circuit. However, instead of having a capacitor right here, prior to the input resistor, the capacitor appears over here in the feedback loop instead of the feedback resistor. Now, you might also include a feedback resistor in series with this capacitor, but the capacitor has moved from essentially the input to the feedback loop and it is a negative feedback loop as you can see here. So when you apply a signal here within a certain range of frequencies determined by these component values, the resistors and the capacitor, you will get in effect <coughs> the antiderivative at the output. And remember now the antiderivative, you can actually find uh, some of those using calculus. For example, if you put a cosine wave into the input, you'll get a sine wave at the output. Or if you pr put a sine wave into the input, um, well, wait a minute now. <laughs> I'm getting myself uh, confused. If you put the cosine wave here, you'll get a sine wave here. The uh, the other way around, the, if you put, uh, oh, I'm just getting all messed up. I can hardly remember my calculus now, can I? But what you'll get is a wave at the output, then it looks just like a sine wave, but is shifted to the right, or lags the input, by 90 degrees. So, in effect, uh, that is what you will get with a simple sine wave. With other more complicated waveforms, you will sometimes get a wave that looks like the, output, uh, like the input at the output, but not always. So, an integrator circuit, well, what do you use these things for anyway, you might ask? Well, variety of applications in analog and digital electronics, particularly with regards to analog computers and various uh, low-pass and high-pass filter applications. You might notice that the integrator and differentiator look a lot like the uh, low-pass and the high-pass filters. And in fact, that's no accident. If you want to know exact component values from the frequency ranges you might be interested in, usually in the audio frequency range, you can go to the internet and find them. Uh, and uh, so I would suggest that. But this is just the generic configuration. And to point out that an operational amplifier has yet another application besides simple amplification. Stan Jabalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1. Good vibrations, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long for now.